Lawrence Redeen. Join me in painting this very simple hot air balloon. When you're ready, let's go get our materials. Let's start from here, going to the right. Okay, so let's get paint using Q-tip. There you go, small amount only. And then, okay. Simple dots. Just follow along the line. Follow along the line. Do it slowly. You don't have to rush. Just continue until you reach this part. Okay. Continue dotting. It's okay if like this one. Oh, sorry. It's not fully colored. But that's fine. Just do the general line of the printable. Just follow along. There you go. So skip this line. We will add the red starting from here. Okay? Remember, skip that line. Skip the next part. Just continue. Continue adding the red following the line. Okay. Same goes to the other side. Skip. Okay. Let me turn this. Okay. Skip. And then at the bottom of the zigzag, start again putting the red dot. We are going to paint this one, still using a point of the cotton buds. Okay, let's continue. You don't have to cover everything. Just make a point, different, scatter your dots. dots below the zigzag below just like that see it's below the zigzag line let's continue Get a new one, and then we are going to paint using blue. Okay, and then, like we did at the hot air balloon, we are going to put dots following the line. Get blue, follow line, just continue following the line of the cloud. 
Jesus. Okay. Let's continue dotting. There. Well, we're done with the outline. Okay, when you're done with the outline, we are going to paint inside. Put dots. Remember, the clouds only. This one, it's a no. That's a different color, okay? Just inside the clouds. Inside. When your hot air balloon and the clouds are fully dry up, you are going to paint the next part of the painting, which is the zigzag part and then the bottom of the balloon, okay? This one, we are going to paint with color green, okay? So to make color green, if you have... Uh, the same colors that I have only. You just have to mix yellow and then blue. Okay? Mix them together. Look at that. It's turning green already. Okay? If you want a lighter green, add more yellow. If you want a darker green, add more blue. Okay, so you have option in making your green. Alright, remember we skipped these two lines earlier. Alright, so we are going to um, 
follow that line, the zigzag line. So starting from here, add dots of green. It's okay if it overlap with the red. Okay, once dry, we are going to paint the basket using uh, mixing, sorry, mixing red, yellow, and blue. First line, just do dots. There you go. Second line. Then done. Third line. Okay. Let me fix this one first. So that you can see. There. Next. We're going to proceed with the basket already. Okay? Just like always, follow the outline. Okay? Always follow the outline of the object. We are going to create a shaded part at this basket. So we are going to add more color or paint at this side. Okay. Remember the closer the dots, the darker the paint is. There you go. So we have a shaded or darker part of the basket. So make sure everything is dry first before you proceed to the background or else you might accidentally smudge uh, the other paint uh, with the background. So for the background, we are going to make it a sunny background. So we are going to paint orange at the bottom and then getting lighter to yellow at the top all right for the orange we are going to mix okay mix red and yellow okay so mix them together to make orange color
as you go up of the painting, so we are going up already, scatter the orange more because we will also be adding yellow later. So I'm not um, adding dots too close to each other anymore because I want this part, the upper part to be lighter or red. This one is a new cotton buds, okay? This one is the one I used for the orange. So now we are using yellow. Make sure you have a new cotton buds for the yellow. Because we don't want any orange color at the top. 